to your story program which is on all this week on children's bbc it's all done live just like blue peter which is very rare these days for programs including actors and maybe you've phoned up and given your ideas for the story i can tell you it's a real rush getting the story ready to show as we found out when our camera followed the what's your story team for a night and a whole day shine the light just there Monday's first episode ended at a brick wall. You had the chance to decide what happened next, and we joined up when 50,000 people started to ring. Hello, what's your story? Can I have your name? Right, so the man they get closes the mine, and he knocks the wall down. We've gone through it, and we've found Laura's father. It's the page. Yeah, it's Laura's father. Quinn wants the man. Of the father. Right, right. Okay, and what town are you from? Yes, she's very good. Good. Mum. Hello, what's your story? Right, sit meeting over here, please. Let's all gather around. Quick introduction of what we have roughly sorted into the best ideas, which is huge. They fall into two categories. One uh, that, that's picked up on the nuclear thing. Mm. The other category is, is the, the, the fantasy category, where, you know, they go through and they find themselves in a strange world. Aliens have raided the cottage. The stone belongs to aliens and they need the stone to power for nuclear leak. <coughs> That's quite good. We're basically going for um, aliens, yeah? A and simple way through the wall and aliens. It's an alien. What I suggest we do now is if Peter, you and I and Chris just go and sit quietly yeah. downstairs, yeah. find out what we've talked about now, and uh, the actors can all go out and have a jolly nice evening while Peter writes the script. Well done. Yeah. Tomorrow has got utterly unknown. A complete new script, set, the lot. It's got to be terrifyingly wonderful. How are you getting on? Uh, I need a computer that can spell. That's, that's, that's my biggest problem, not really. No. The biggest problem is that, you know, the, I've got the prison scene, and, you know, we talked earlier about the character being sort of Arthurian. Mm -hmm. so I really have to write it in a kind of Arthurian way, and I think it's quite a strong plot scene. Mm -hmm. And uh, the problem is, I think all the kind of these and thous and stuff is actually going to get in the way. Right, okay. here's, here's one. Go down the passage, yeah. down the cave, and they find, through the skeletons, potholder. Yeah, that makes more sense. I think he needs to know the father. Um, coffee. Please. Yes. Come on, my way. Thanks, I'm done. Thanks for the show. And basically, I'm just waiting for the designer to come up with some ideas on what's going on. Yeah, we're from props. We're waiting for the, uh, the end, end of the planning meeting. Then we collect what props we're going to need. What we need is uh, the transition. Don't we need to come out of this? I mean, it won't actually be continuous all the time. Yeah, so that would be thinking about making a, a neon uh, cage for the front of the cell. Mm. Yeah. Using these strip lights. Yeah. When the girl traces her finger across it, the wall will actually implode away from us. So we're going to cut it up into sections and pull those in on a given cue, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, the crate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This wasn't here yesterday. No. No. Hasn't he done well? Let's talk to Mike and see how he's getting all the music. Yeah. Can he just oh. give us a burst or something? Oh, shit. That's a spaceship noises. We've got uh, things like... Good. <laughs> oh, that sort of thing. 
Have you got a pair of scissors? And I, if I just overlay them, and they can just be here. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, then. Can you help with the shower? Okay, fine. Let's see, get the hat on the teeth done. Then they wouldn't have been captured by whatever they are, nor would they have seen Laura's father's face on the stone wall. Oh, that idea, by the way, came from Miss Danielle Boothroyd, age 10, and Mr. Stuart McCabe, age 13. Thank you. Let's stretch your makeup off. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, ready on the floor. And cue. Up, up, up. Down. No! Wait! Walking it through, please. Very quiet. Here we go. From shot 58. And cue. The new prisoners in sector 7 will need reprogramming. Hold it there, please. Thank you. Lisa needs to look out more in the mind. When she's turning away from the wall, she must turn and face them, not do a half. Oh, I'm so tired. She must face Quinton. for the live program. <laughs> Very quiet, please. Standing into program. Three. Standing by two, to one. 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 Here's our story. We've put them all together, we've mixed them all up, and this is what we've come up with. Oh! Stay with the two. In you go. Round one. Shot 25. Steady. Four. They're not very chatty. You probably noticed. This is a joke. Isn't it? A joke? Yeah. Some sort of strange joke or something, isn't it? If I give it to you, will you set me free? You are nothing to us. The stone is all. Uh, Where? Ask them phone number, put it up. Three. And tell us. Soon. Now. Wow, it's even more of a rush than Blue Peter. Well, that was Sylvester at the end of Tuesday.